I'm always intrigued how we're able to change people's lives through dentistry. Uh, I've been in dentistry for 28 years now, and, and our mantra, if you will, for many years has been changing people's lives one smile at a time. But as dentistry has advanced now in the world of sleep apnea, it's changing people's lives, but not necessarily about their smile. I haven't snored for a while, but I didn't recognize it as sleep apnea. It was mostly just to correct for snoring. Um, I found out about it probably a couple months ago, and I've been going through the process of figuring out what I can do as opposed to sleep uh, the CPAP machine. So I had become a, a little bit louder snore. My wife would say a lot, mm -hmm. and um, it really had become a, a problem. And uh, wanted to find something yet I didn't want to go. Uh, I, I wasn't don't, didn't feel I was ready for other avenues. I had had the CPAP machine and had a lot of complications with breathing over it. Um, I'm asthmatic and have a deviated septum, so when I would I had to use the full face mask, and I wasn't able to push enough air out to keep breathing. So I told him that exactly that and he said well we have a solution that actually is a mouth appliance so adjust your jaw so that it allows for more air to be moved through and that it'll essentially do the same thing as what the forced air machine is doing without the obstructions, without the evasiveness and keep it so that you can move air better. Uh, I thought anything's better than the CPAP. <laughs> And the CPAP is just a painful experience. So traveling with that machine was unattainable, you know, because it's a large machine, and it. And I travel back and forth between two cities every week, so it made traveling inconvenient. I was more tired. Um, I never woke up with the, the rapid heart rate or any of that, but just always feeling kind of beat, you know, tired. And and I recall even in my youth when I didn't have any snoring or sleep apnea. I was probably never what you'd call a great sleeper anyway. I was somebody who woke up a lot, um, didn't take much to wake me up. And when I was up, I was never quick back to sleep. So this just made all that more pronounced. And then of course you're getting nudged. Emotionally it was causing disturbances between me and my now fiance who we couldn't share a room together. So that weighed pretty heavy on me emotionally. You know, it's, you always want to be able to spend that time with your significant others. Uh, physically, I'd found that I, you know, sometimes would wake up rather groggy and tired, not like received a full night's sleep. It became a nuisance, and uh, I just wanted to try to feel better during the day, uh, find uh, an avenue that would make me uh, feel more energetic and uh, uh, have more energy. One of the things I'm most excited about um, at the end of every day is when we do sleep consults and we have patients who are using uh, the CPAP machine and they're just not getting not go, doing well with it. Um, we have patients who come in and they're like zombies and it's exciting for me that I know we're going to be able to change that because every single time we've changed that. Um, you know, we have patients who come in just literally just, they can't smile because they're too exhausted. And, you know, we meet them as this one person and then we get them that oral appliance to help with their sleep apnea. And they are a completely different person. They're cheery when they come in here and they're getting sleep and they've got pep in their step. And that is exciting. Every time I do a sleep consult, that's exciting for me. And I, I love that. I know we're going to change their lives. The first time I came in was for a meet and greet and they explained what the appliance was, how it would help me out. Second time we came in, we, they did um, air checks on how my breathing is and what minimum requirements they would have to do to move my jaw out to allow for better airflow. And then they went through and did the uh, creation of the dental appliance by making the filler and molding of my teeth, which was actually very comfortable and very easy to handle. Made it a very simple process. So this part here goes on to your top um, and it really produces the lock because your top jaw doesn't move. It's fixed in your skull. And then the bottom appliance is actually what pushes your lower jaw forward based on the little wings. And then as you looking for your point where it's going to give you the optimum efficiency, you're just going to expand out and move the lower jaw forward. I've had grinding teeth issues, which is probably one of the other issues with sleeping. 
And um, so I, I give the bands that hold it in place a workout. And if they get a little loose just from time, like uh, she'll say, is it time to change your bands? And that tells me I was snoring last night, so I just pop on a new set of bands and, you know, go back. And, and she just loves it. It allows us to be in the same room again. I had no downtime for getting used to it at all. It's just been slowly making the small adjustments and extending out my jaw so that it opens up the airway better. But physically wearing the appliance is completely unobtrusive. It does help, and we are starting to share a room a lot more, and it's a lot more comfortable at night. I feel like I'm not as snorry and I have a lot more energy in the morning when I get up. Um, caffeine intake has gone downhill a lot. Did all the monitoring, did the sleep test for him, did follow up sleep tests. The apnea is gone and, and they're glad about that. But most importantly, not only can they go someplace in public and not be embarrassed, but now they've gone from sleeping either in different floors from their wives or different rooms from their wives to now they're in bed together. and. Their lives have changed that way, and it's just such a tremendous joy to be able to affect people's lives, even outside their smile.